Hey guys, welcome to today's super fun solo jazz guitar tune. It's Lulu's Back in Town. Let's get started. and a lot of grip chord shapes work really well. It starts off with the C7, the melodies on the B flat, the flat seven. Okay, so you can grab it all with that one shape and then take off your pinky so that you have the G. So it sounds like this. And then we go to this F7 bar chord with the A on top, the melody, to this F7. Okay, and that's pretty quick there, so it sounds like this. flat seven just like the C7 shape but move down a whole step same B fl A flat to B flat and an E flat major seven so let's do that again those are the first two bars it's pretty dense so we'll go through it slowly flat seven. and then now we're gonna go to an A flat six chord and that's the shape be careful, it almost looks like a D flat major seven. Okay, it, which is not a bad way to think of it. You just don't want that D flat in there. You want the A flat. Okay, so now it's an A flat six. But I am barring, because see, I'm also finger picking, so I'm being very careful, even though I'm barring, not to get that D flat note. Okay, and I'm just kind of pulling out that six degree to the fifth, F to E flat. And then I'm in the A open, diminish seven, Sliding that down three frets to the E flat major seven to the C seven. Okay, this is all notated on the tabs there, but let's do that again. A flat six diminish E flat major seven C seven F nine B flat sus B flat nine sus four. You could just call it A flat slash B. Flat six. Then I hit the B flat octave as a turnaround, and that leads us back to the top of the A section. Here it is slow. Again. On that second time, of course, we want to lead us to the B section. So that's where I did this little trick. It's a beautiful chord. Tag. I know we just did a tag, but this is the ending lick. Um, kind of a classic cliche thing. I got the E flat six, then I'm gonna put just the bass notes in the top note. Uh, Joe Pass did this a lot, so I'm kind of uh, a little homage to Joe Pass. D flat with the G in, in the top, C with the A flat in the top, and then B with the A on top, and then the octave is one. And now it's uh, B flat tripled octave, so I have a B flat here and a B flat here. So I'm definitely finger picking it, one. E flat 13 to end it. 